imagine that being forced to give birth would feel something like that? Being forced, how, how about when mothers become pregnant, they're blessed with a child, they're not forced to give birth to a child. That's we we've turned that upside down in this country. Mothers used to love children. They right before they started becoming murderers of their children. Most of them, yes, they are. Most of them. And you would just ignore the ones that have No, I'm, I'm saying most of them. I'm saying you want to focus on the ones that are pregnant, not by their will. I focus on the people that have had terrible shit happen to them, and you would ignore No, I don't ignore them, actually. I have friends who were conceived in rape. I have a, a friend who, uh, who her child was conceived in rape. You would have that child be murdered, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, for me, right? I give her the right to just, you know, not have to go through so to murder her baby. Would you like to see an, a, a picture of a child who was conceived in rape? I have, a, I have it on my phone. Do I, well, I just want to see if, if you think it's okay to cut his head off. Right here. Right here. You see the child in that? His, his name is Sterling. He was conceived in rape. His mom chose not to love him. And you think it's okay? Do you think it's okay? Should he have his head cut off right now? He's outside the womb. What's that? I mean, no. Why? He was conceived in rape. Well, he's already walking around human. Well, but was he not human in the womb? He's a clump of cells in the womb. You're a clump of cells outside the womb. So am I. So what? So if if you if you if you think it's okay to murder a baby in the womb because their their father's a criminal, why not murder him outside the womb? Their their father's still a criminal, right? It's more so that the damage is going on at this point. She's gone through the pregnancy. Well, the damage was done when, when, when she became pregnant, right? The damage was already done. Like, it's more so that she had to suffer I really don't. unnecessarily I mean, I rather, because, you know what I mean? Like, maybe she guys happened. need to be casting that She had to suffer. She had to suffer. Why would I right? want to follow somebody that is caused... But praise God that she didn't make her baby suffer as well. You see, the, those who advocate for murdering babies in the womb conceived in rape, they believe in adding more victims. There's already a victim, the mom who murdered, uh, the mom, the woman or girl who was violated. There's already a victim. Those who support murdering that child, they want to add, they, they believe in adding another victim. They believe in multiplying victims. We don't believe that. We believe, no, there's one victim. She can, she should love her child. Because who understands better the violence of having a, a stronger person inflict their will upon you than a, a woman or a girl that's been raped? So of all people, she should understand and have compassion on her baby, right? Because she understands what that what that's like to have a, a violent thug inflict their will upon you and violate your body. So then we're going to turn around and say, you understand what this is like, but we want to turn you into a murderer. No, that's we should encourage that mom to love her baby. Right? You're saying, okay, we understand that you went through something shitty, but we want you to go through something even shittier because of it. You mean love her, love her baby? Pregnancy. It does terrible shit to a woman's well, body, just in general. There's just all sorts of biological things. Just well, what, what, you know what it does to a woman's body when she murders her baby? Messes her up pretty bad. There, there, there are moms who murdered their babies who could never get pregnant again. It messed them up. Had to have hysterectomies. It messes moms, it messes their bodies up because they're doing the opposite of what God designed their body to do. God, does, God did not design a mother's body. When a woman becomes pregnant, he designed them to love their child, carry their child to term, give birth to their child, not to murder their child. And when you do the opposite of what God designed, there are consequences. There are consequences. It's not healthy to murder your baby. We wouldn't say, I don't think anybody on this campus would argue that, maybe I'm wrong, that it's healthy to murder your baby outside the womb. But for some strange reason, we think it's healthy to murder your baby inside the womb. No, it's, it's not healthy. It's not healthy to become a murderer. And people think that it's going to heal her by murdering her baby. No, it's going to add trauma. And, it's, and she's more likely to kill herself because now, she went from being a victim to a victimizer. She went from having a criminal um, put force himself on her, violate her body, to violating her baby's body. And we're, we want to encourage her to, you, you're the victim, but we, we want you to, to victimize your baby, just as that thug viola, made you a victim. You don't add, two wrongs don't make a right. I grew up believing, I grew up with that, two wrongs don't make a right, and I wasn't a Christian. But in this country, we want to we want to say no. Two wrongs make a right in the case of rape, and we think it's going to heal this this girl or this woman who's been raped by encouraging her to murder her baby. No, it's going to add to her suffering. She's going to have to look in her in the mirror the rest of her earthly life and see a murderer.
I don't want that for her. I'm sorry that you do. I'm sorry that many students on this campus want that for her. Okay, okay tell me where I'm wrong. Don't tell me where I'm wrong. Yeah. Don't tell me where I'm wrong. Well, Okay, um, look again. Should he be murdered? Should this little boy Sterling be murdered? He did he didn't, did he just become a person magically by, in, by going through the birth canal? He's a, he's a, you say he's a person now, was he not a person in the womb? If you say, if you say he's not a person in the womb, then you, what's that? Yeah. Look, look at any biology, biology, biology textbook on this campus. Life begins at fertilization when sperm fertilizes the egg. Science. Yeah, any, any, bio, any biology textbook. It says life begins at fertilization. It's a scientific fact. It's indisputable. Even abortionists will admit that, that abortion kills a human being. No, that, that it's a human being at the moment of fertilization. Just that you were, I was, this little boy who was conceived in rape, he was. And many people on this campus, including you, tell me if I'm wrong, support murdering children. Just like this one, Sterling. But, you know, it, it makes it hard to support their murders when we have to look at them in the face. When we see a picture of them. Why is that? You can tell this is a person here. I was walking with him through, through a march recently, just a, what, a, few, a few weeks ago. And I was thinking about all those people that support murdering people like him, whose father is a criminal. Why? You know, if I was conceived in rape, I would not want to be, I mean, it'd be painful to live in a society that says you should have been put to death in the womb. You had no rights because your father was a criminal. How awful to say that. I mean, you, you have people on this campus, I'm sure, who were conceived in rape, right? You think they should be put to death? But I'm, you may know someone who, I mean, many of us do know people. Should we, would, if you have a friend who was conceived in rape, would you want them to be put, put, be put to death? Well, no. It's not so anything to do with, like, the kid themselves. It's yeah. more so, I don't want the mother to suffer unnecessarily for something that she literally had no control of. But you want the baby to suffer. You want the baby to suffer. That over something he has no control over. So either way, you want one person to suffer. No, I don't want anyone to suffer. You you want the baby to suffer. I don't. You want the mother to suffer. No, I don't want anyone to suffer. You want her to suffer the pains of pregnancy. No, the, 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 that, that's, that's a natural thing because of sin. You want the baby to suffer because his father's a criminal. Tell me why it's a natural thing because of sin. Because Adam and Eve sinned in the Garden of Eden. And childbirth, God add pain, add multiply pains of childbirth. Come on, tell us you that. We'll, tell you we'll about just this read, in the book of Gen read in the book of Genesis. Who are these Adam and Eve? Well, you read them about them in the book of Genesis. They were the first people God records in the book of Genesis. And God, when they sinned, God made that part of the curse of sin was that that Eve and women following her would have pain in childbirth. And so, yes, women do experience pain in childbirth, but how much more pain are they going to experience when they willingly murder their babies? <laughs>